Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is range sum query 2D immutable. Given a 2D matrix, handle multiple queries of the following type. Calculate the sum of the elements of matrix inside the rectangle defined by its upper left corner given by row 1, column 1 and its lower right corner given to us by row 2, column 2. Now we want to implement a num matrix class where it initializes the object with the integer matrix and then there's a function called sum region, which is going to return to us the sum of all the elements inside that rectangle. Now, initially, we could think we could solve this straightforward by starting at the row and doing a nested for loop and just adding up all the numbers um, inside of that rectangle. Uh, but that would certainly work, but it's not efficient. Is there some sort of pre-processing that we can do to make our function a lot faster? So let's first think about what we, what, what we might do if it was like a 1D array. So say that we had a 1D array here, and we want to figure out what's the sum of some sort of subarray, like from here to here, or something like that. If we had a accumulating sum array, so say that we just counted up all the sums in order, 3, 3, 4, uh, this would be 8, and this would be 10. All we would need to do actually is, if we say that we wanted to calculate this, what's the sum between here, we would take the very end, which gives us the sum from 0, 0 to this index, or from 0 to this index here, and subtract whatever the sum is from the one previous. So here with 0, 1, 4, we would take, um, we would have to have one more, one more integer in, in front, like this, to count up um, for when it's counting here, and we would get, okay, find the sum of 8, and get this number here, and minus 1. So here we can see 8 minus 3 is going to be equal 5, and that's going to be 8 minus 3, right here, this 3 here, and that's going to give us a sum. And we can extend this concept to do it row by row. Uh, we can just create a accumulating sum row per row for in our matrix, and then add up all those down the line. Like, we'll do the same calculation for a 1D array, and that's going to allow us to go from an m times n time complexity to an m complexity. Okay, so let's initialize, first start off by initializing um, our DP array, which is going to be M and N. And let's see, this would be the matrix uh, rows, and this would be the matrix of the columns. Now what we want to do is create our DP array, so call this DP. And this needs to have a nested for loop. We'll say for blank and range of the columns, but we need a plus one here for that zero to account for when we're just getting to the very end zero index, and we'll also have to say do this for range of n plus one. Okay, so now we have our DPRA. Now we want to do this accumulating sum here. So let's get a little bit tricky, but let's see for row in range of and I'm going to start with one index and say m plus 1. And we'll say for column in range of 1 to n plus 1. What do we want to do? All right, well, we'll take the dprc, and that's going to equal first the self dot matrix. We have to add whatever's in the matrix, right? We'll do a crc minus 1. Uh, and we just add what what came what came before that. So that would be uh, same row, but the minus one column here. Now let's make sure this looks right before we continue. And hmm, oops, it's not self dot matrix. All right, so that does look like it's working, right? For each row, we're saying 3, 3, 4, 8, 10. Here, it's like 5, 11, 14, 7, uh, 6, 5, 11, 14, 16, 17. Yep, so, so on and so forth. So now all we need to do um, with our sum region is just do it for every row. So what we'll do is say, start with an output of 0. We'll say 4 row in range of 
we already have a row in row one here, right? So uh, let's see, since we're going to be doing our, our DP array, we're going to have to add one. And here it's inclusive, so it's row two, we're going to have to actually add two here. And I believe that's right, but let's, let's see. Now what we'll do is uh, get the self.dp for row and we'll get the column two, column two, and we'll subtract self.dp.r with column one, but make sure to make minus one here. Finally, just return our output. And let's see if this works. Okay, it seems I've made a mistake. Uh, okay, let's see. Row. Uh, okay, so I think I actually need to do plus one here and column one be minus that. Yep, okay, so I, I, I screwed that up because of the zero index, but it looks like it's working, so let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go, that does get accepted. So time complexity-wise, this is m times n when we initialize, but the function here only takes m, right, because we only need to iterate down the rows. So that would be it. Um, we could actually do better here. We could extend this concept, and instead of doing it for the 1D array, what we'll do is create an accumulating sum, not only for this 1D array, but we'll um, do it from this 0, 0 cell, and we'll iterate down as we count up the sums here. Like say that we wanna find the sum from 0 to 6. What we'll do is just take whatever sum came up here, add whatever sum came up here, and then subtract whatever sum came up here one time. And that's gonna, if you imagine like there's an overlap here with like some of this, some of that, um, and we add this number, but we have to subtract the overlap here, which would be this, right? So um, if we did that, then we can actually do this in O one time by, by doing the same thing where we get the rolling sum and subtract the uh, overlap between the two. Okay, so let's see if we could get that to work. Um, all that needs to change is we still add number here, uh, but now we're gonna have to add two things, or a add one thing and subtract one thing. So we add, let's see, dp r c minus one. We also need to add r minus one to the previous column here. So we add that, add that, and we subtract what? r minus one, c minus one. Okay, so uh, let me first make sure that this looks like it's doing what it's supposed to. Okay, so that does look right. It looks like it's accumulating by both row and cells. Um, now, instead of having this for loop, what we could do is um, simply return, let's see, self dot, have to get the, uh, row two, and column two, I'm trying to think if I need to add one here, I believe I do, I need to add one to both of these, okay, but we also need to subtract, self.dp um, see row 2 plus 1 to column 1 and I don't need to subtract 1 here because it's already done that for me I'll subtract column 1, subtract uh, let's see, I also need to do column two plus one, but this would be 
row one, and we would add the overlap back because we're subtracting it twice, right? So uh, we just need to add back row one and column one. Okay, so let's see if that works. And that looks like it's working, so submit it. And there we go. So this is the optimal answer. This is going to be O of 1 time complexity, although this is still m times n. Now, it's a little bit confusing. Um, I'd be very surprised if you were able to get here. Um, but I, I think understanding that accumulating sum on the 1D array is the key. And once you know that, I think all the other concepts kind of fall into place. All right. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.